I'd like to introduce the world's first real-time inline uh, beam monitor, what we call the BWA Mon. It's a laser beam diagnostic system that's used in conjunction with a laser focus head to cut, drill, weld, mark, uh, scribe, etc. Whatever industrial process there is. So, in processing with lasers, often one is looking at a far field pattern to judge the performance of the laser. And here I show on the screen an example of a far and near field pattern of a, a laser beam where the far field pattern looks acceptable. However, you look at the near field pattern and it's uh, got a lot of coma in it, so it's very unacceptable for the process. Likewise, you can have a situation where the far field pattern is, is quite bad but you look at the near field pattern and it would be acceptable. So the point is you can't judge a laser process by the far field pattern. You really need to look at both and particularly the near field. But the near field is very difficult to measure, especially in a real time process. So what we have developed here is a system that works in conjunction with a focusing head where we've got a laser coming in and we've got a profile camera to look at the far field pattern and then we've got another camera that looks at the near field pattern while the laser is processing. Here I've got this green diode laser going through the focusing system. There's a lens right here and it's uh, uh, focusing at this point. So that could be a cutting process, drilling, welding, whatever. All right, now how does this work? It's quite simple. I have a, a graphic here that shows our, our light coming in. We've got a dove prism, and a very small percentage is reflected from this first surface of the dove prism into our profile camera. And then the majority of the light passes through a focusing lens to the workpiece. And at this last optical element here, we're looking at the back reflected light from the very last surface. A very small percentage is reflected back, hits the dove prism, the second surface, and then gets focused into our beam waste analyzer camera. So that gives us the ability to monitor the system while it's processing without interfering with it. The advantage there is we've got an exact replica of what's at the part that's being processed at our camera. So here we have the software that's monitoring the beam while it's running. So we've got our far field pattern and our near field pattern so that We've got all this measurement data while the part's being processed. And this is important. Like, say, if you have a medical device, a stent, or some other critical component, you want to have the laser process parameters associated with that part rather than a batch of parts, because it could be that maybe there was a hiccup in the laser in one of those, you know, maybe one out of 100 parts, and you wouldn't know it. But with this system, you would have all the data for each part processed in real time so that you have better quality control. Because we're processing real time, I mean, it's, um, you know, just imagine this being some piece of material that's being processed with the laser. So we can see in this shot here, we've got our M squared uh, beam caustic graph, which shows the beam waste and the Rayleigh range. We have all the M squared information over here on the right. We have astigmatism, so all the, the, the relevant data. Let's suppose something in the laser or the optics have changed so that it's affected one of the parameters. So we get an interlock saying something is out of range. So we go to the quality control and we see that the M squared of the system went, exceeded its upper level range. So we have the ability with any of the ISO parameters for a laser beam uh, profile, we can set an upper and lower limit so that you can really restrict the process uh, that you're doing and therefore stop it before it gets out of control, either to damage a very expensive optic or an expensive part. So we have a low power unit that's uh, designed for powers less than a kilowatt. And then we have systems that are designed for multi kilowatts up to 20 kilowatts one as an inline process or straight on for cutting and drilling and then we have a system for welding which with welding you're always doing at a slight angle to avoid back reflections back to the laser which can cause uh, damage so these units are for uh, powers in excess of one kilowatt up to 20 kilowatts 
In summary, the BWA MON is the world's first real-time inline beam analysis system and is capable of measuring all the ISO parameters in real time during a cutting drilling process. The system is compact, inline, real time, and can be used with any laser from the UV to the far infrared. The beam analysis process itself has no moving parts and it does not disrupt the laser process. With simple optical change, the system can be changed from UV to the far infrared quite easily. And with the increased quality control possible, the door is open for the potential of achieving Six Sigma quality control process. So if you're looking for tighter process control and want to know truly what your laser is doing at your workpiece that you're cutting, drilling, welding, whatsoever with the laser, please contact us here at Haas Laser Technologies and we'll be happy to help you with your application.